Okay, guys, here's what we were talking about in the seminar last weekend. Several of you have contacted me and asked me about tying the double rig or the single or the loop knot that I use. I'm going to go ahead and show you in a double loop fashion. That way you'll have both. I usually pull out about, oh, I don't know, 18 inches, two foot of line. Come back and grab my jig head right here along with the line. Put it in my fingers like this. Turn the jig around my fingers one time and put the jig back through one, two, three times. Now in my boat, I usually use my fingers, but in my boat I keep this little rig right here if I want to sometimes get it down closer. I like that a lot of times when I'm fishing in treetops and things. But anyway, this right here brings it in closer, pull that real tight, get the tag in line that's that's back. You want to tie these jigs, I, I like about a foot to 12, 14 inches apart, somewhere in that neighborhood. Run it back through the eye of your hook on this one again. You repeat the process. All you're doing, pulling it up, repeating the process. You got about 14, 15 inches of line there, but gotta remember you're gonna be going around your fingers. So one, back through one, back through two, back through three. There's several ways to tie this loop knot. You can, if I had time, I would show you again, but this is, this is another way of doing it. And there you are. You've got a double rig jig, just about 12 inches apart. I usually, a lot of times I'll even come, if I'm fishing 15, feet or deeper of water or 12 feet or if I'm pushing these jigs I'll usually come back and put a clip or put a weight about this size weight right up here above this jig and that right there just helps keep it in the zone a little bit better as your boat's moving because as your boat moves remember what we talked about about the angle of the line how you want to keep it down in the zone but there you are the double rig jig with your weight at the top. I've got this one right here already rigged and you can see what I'm talking about on this one. This is one that's rigged for the bottom. What I'll do with this a lot of times is let it all the way to the bottom and probe down a ledge or probe on the bottom looking for a treetop maybe or some down a ledge to catch fish to get my depth. And there you are. Now you've seen both rigs the way I rig it, whether I rig it single with a weight or double with a weight and that's the way i'm doing hey catch you later drop it in